There are some days that we wake up and we're like, okay, that's what I want to wear. But other days we need a little bit of inspiration or ideas. That's the whole premise behind this series. Whether it's a certain pair of shoes, some pants, a jacket, a flannel, a sweater, whatever it is that's seasonally appropriate, it may click in your mind where you're like, oh, okay, I have that, or I wanna go get that so that I can wear it with those, if you know what I mean. So I've got three full outfits for you in this one to hopefully help you out if you're stuck. And I gotta be honest with you guys, sometimes I look at my sneaker collection and I'm like, what am I gonna wear next? I need a little nudge, like what style should I go with? And that brings me to today's video sponsor, which is Soul Savvy. Most of you have heard me talk about Soul Savvy before, so you already know that that's a place where you can go where there's sneaker monitors, add to cart links, and accurate sneaker release info. You already know all that. I've talked about that before. That stuff is very helpful if you're in the sneaker game right now. But I wanna focus on one thing that kind of inspires me a little bit. Under their Slack, there is a what did you wear today section and I find myself there pretty often. Just seeing older sneakers, newer sneakers on feet, none of it is glamorous really. I mean there is a little bit of that but it's not like what Instagram is now where there are these photo shoots and every single sneaker picture has to be top notch. I kind of like just the iPhone pictures. Just the raw, this is what I'm wearing today, snap a pic. I tend to find that stuff interesting because I wanna know what other people are wearing. So many different styles and brands are out there. The community part of Soul Savvy is huge. So a lot of the people you see posting on feet pictures in the what did you wear today section are also posting in the trade section. I really like places like that. I'm in their Slack often. So if you're interested in Soul Savvy and wanna experience that community for yourself, I'll link it for you down in the description. You can check it out, see for yourself. But with all that said, let's get into these outfits. I got a pair of Jordan 1s, the Gore-Tex, that has actually restocked a lot recently. I saw it on Soul Savvy, so if you have been trying to catch restocks, Soul Savvy is where it's at for that info as well. But that aside, we got some Yeezy boots. I'll talk more about it in this video, and some dunks. So Jordan 1's dunks and Yeezys. It's been a while since I've included all that in a video, but here it is, let's do it. Okay, so first up, we have the Gore-Tex Jordan 1's, and I lace swap these. They come with black laces and no other options. I was like, okay, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is swap those laces. Black makes these look so dull, in my opinion. I threw grays in here. I might go with reds at some point. I don't know, but these are just crying for a lace swap. Don't be afraid to lace swap any shoe you have. There's a dark green Gore-Tex material on here, and to match that, I've got a Palace puffer jacket. It's a nice quilted design, and then it has Palace branding around the wrist area and at the top of the collar. Instead of just plastering Palace across the front, I really dig it when streetwear brands use subtle branding like this. So Palace did a collaboration with Polo Ralph Lauren, so I'm not afraid to mix and match those those two brands. Polo is very menswear and Palace is very skate and streetwear. But when they did that collaboration, that's all I needed to see. And that's my style right there in between menswear and streetwear. So this look I'm absolutely all about. And then just some indigo blue denim from Everlane in a slim fit. Okay, next up, this is the outfit I'm actually wearing today because I throw all this stuff on and I have to make a decision of what I'm actually gonna walk out the door in. This is kind of a crazy look, but I think all the colors together actually work. So let me dive into this because it's a little bit much. First up, Yeezy boots. These are season three military boots in burnt sienna. This is one of the best Yeezy boots ever made in my opinion. I think Kanye makes incredible boots. I prefer his boots over his sneakers. I know people go nuts over 350 still. Me, not as much as the boots. I wanna see more boots. And then to go with that, I have some cuffed jogger sweatpants that are a little bit baggier than normal, and these are actually my own. These are part of my next clothing drop, and I'm not gonna discuss them too much because they aren't finished yet, but they're a little bit roomier than normal sweats. They're made in USA, and the color quality, Crazy, can't wait for these, but more on that soon. If you wanna keep up to date with my clothing drops, by the way, make sure you're following me on Instagram. I'm at Eddie Wynn Kicks, and I post a lot of sneaker and clothing content there as well. But the standout of this one is this Sherpa jacket 
from the L.L. Bean and Todd Snyder collection. Maybe it's because I'm local to the area and it kind of speaks to me more. I'm just obsessed with how Todd Snyder pulls vintage pieces from the L.L. Bean catalog and then reinvents them a little bit. This one happens to have a similar color to the Burnt Sienna in these boots, kind of like a clayish orange. They work well together and then just to pop a little bit, They've got this light blue on here. If you wanna buy this, I'll link it for you down in the description. I think it's available and I think it's on sale. Okay, and then last up, we have a pair of Dunks. These are one of my favorites. These are the Michigan Highs and I figured I would share this outfit with you guys because there's a little styling tip that I use when it comes to Dunks. Obviously, you can see that there's a bright yellow on here and your first instinct might be, okay, I have to wear something yellow with those. I have to wear a yellow hoodie, even a yellow flannel, like I do that sometimes too, but it doesn't have to be like that. Try to wear something that doesn't match the yellow. So I threw on camo here. There's no camo on this shoe. There's no brown, there's no black, there's no green, but the contrast of these two tends to work. And also, I don't know if you know this, but camo kind of goes with everything. So the jacket here is more L.L. Bean. It's actually vintage, it's from the 80s. I got it from a vintage shop in Lowell, Mass called Holy Grail. Great store, shout out to those guys. This pattern that L.L. Bean uses here, they don't use anymore, there's a different camo that they use. Hold on one sec. This is the camo pattern that they are more so using nowadays. I got this for the beach. It's just a big tote bag. Unless it's like a Todd Snyder collection, they usually use just this standard army camo and rarely this like duck camo. So even though you may think it's a contrast, I think this jacket and these dunks go well together. I've got a wind beanie hat from my upcoming collection as well. And then the indigo slim fit denim. They work well with Jordan 1s and these Michigan dunks. And I think it complements the outdoors style of this jacket. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like for me. It goes a long way. Subscribe if you are new around here. All the outfit info and more videos will be linked for you guys down in the description. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I really hope you're enjoying this series. I'll catch you next time. Peace.